Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is the DNA sequence below is a very tiny eukaryotic gene. This entire region is transcribed using the promoter located on the left. The bottom strand is a template strand. What is the primary sequence of the protein produced by this gene? Be sure to label your ends. So take a look what we have here. We have one strand of the DNA, another strand of the DNA, which is coding strand which is template strand of the DNA. And as you see, we have promoter here in this strand. Of course, promoter would be uh, double-stranded DNA, but we call promoters and give them names by the coding sequence. That's why only one strand here is shown. Those, this is double-stranded. Let's say promoter uh, sequence and name would be Tata. So we also say Tata box. And of course, on the corresponding strand of the DNA or template strand of the DNA, we're going to have a T, a T here, but we do not call this promoter a T, a T box, but we call data box because we always, for giving a name, we use coding strand of the DNA. And we also know that messenger RNA grows continuously from five prime end to three prime end. So here have to be five prime end and three prime end of the messenger RNA. This give us information that this lower strand of the DNA is going to be template strand of the DNA and top strand of this double stranded DNA is going to be coding strand of the DNA. Why we call this strand of the DNA coding strand of the DNA? Because it is just like messenger RNA complementary to this template strand of the DNA and code or sequence here is going to be the same as in messenger RNA with only one difference. Whenever we see here thymine in messenger RNA, it's going to be substituted with uracil. Now we need this table in order to give a sequence. You should not learn it by heart, but probably you have to know that start codon is AUG and probably you have to know three stop codons. This is probably what some of the professors would expect you to know. So we, for the uh, beginning, have to find in the coding strand AUG. But in coding strand, this start codon would be slightly different. As you remember, uracil in coding strand of the DNA would be thymine. So let's find a T G in this coding strand of the DNA. And we go from five prime end to three prime end, just like messenger RNA grows continuously. So let me also add the arrow here. And now we are looking for A T G, which would code for start of the transcription. So A T G and here is this sequence. So let me circle it A, T, G. This first codon not only specifies start of the transcription, but also specifies one out of 20 amino acid, which is mesionin. Our first amino acid is going to be mesionin. According to our problem, we are not only have to give the protein sequence, but we also have to label our ends. And Every amino acid has two ends, amino end and carboxylic acid end. And when they would make a chain uh, through peptide bonds, every polypeptide chain also would have amino end and carboxylic acid end. So the first amino acid is going to have an terminus here. And the second amino acid is going to be, so here is the sequence C, C, C. So this is a sequence of the second codon. Now let's find what this codon specifies. So C, first letter, second also C. So C, C, C means proline. So second amino acid is going to be proline. So P, R, O. And what is going to be the third one? G, G, A. And let's find the sequence here. 
So G, G, and A. This is glycine. So third amino acid is going to be glycine. Next codon is ACT. Let's find it in this table. So A, C, so it's have to be here, A, C, and instead of T, it's going to be U, A, C, U. This is zeranine. So fourth amino acid is zeranine. And next is going to be codon G, A, A. So let's find it here, G, A, A. G, A, so G, A, A. This is glutamic acid. So I will continue, it's here. So G, L, U. And next what we have here, A, T, G, A, T, G. Let's find it in our table. In messenger RNA, T would be substituted with uracil. So A, U, G, A, U, so it's have to be here, A, U, and G. And this is mesionine again, mesionine. And the next codon is T, A, A. In messenger RNA, this is going to be U, A, A. So let's find this U, A, A. This is stop codon. So this is going to be stop codon. It's not going to be translated. And also we are going to have here carboxylic acid and or we say C terminus. So as you see, we have gave a primary sequence of the protein and we also labeled our ends. And even if we flip this sequence and we'll start with uh, C terminus and then this sequence, you still would be able to find that uh, the correct order would be from N terminus to C terminus. This is the first amino acid in this uh, protein, in this polypeptide chain, and this is going to be the last one. So I may wonder if every uh, polypeptide chain start with uh, mesionine. Yes, every polypeptide chain start with mesionine, but in many proteins this first mesionine would be cut away or would be substituted with different amino acids. So this protein sequence can be trimmed. So we can uh, say this is post-translational modification. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.